Hi there. Imagine you're working in an organization where your CTO or CIO is asking you that there is a big change is coming in the organization or maybe related to a strategy shift in another direction. And it's your responsibility as a solution architect, maybe senior manager, or maybe as an enterprise architect to implement those changes. Then how you are going to do that? What sort of steps you are going to require to complete before even you can start the process. If you are also wondering that how to do this kind of transformations inside your organization or how to improve your existing architecture layout, then this video is for you. If you would like to know more, please stay tuned with me till the end of this video and I'm gonna let you know everything about JOGAF. Hi there, my name is Ajay Kumar and you are watching me on BA Consulting Pro. Recently, I cleared my TOGAF Foundation and Practitioner Certification. After that, I was receiving a lot of questions on that. What journey I took, how to clear it, where sort of guidance can be available, etc, etc. Well, if you are also aiming for TOGAF, then I believe you have a certain idea about TOGAF. TOGAF is nothing but it's an architecture foundation. TOGAF is a short form of the open proof architecture framework. That is the framework which is going to guide you throughout your journey to implement any significant changes inside your organization related to architecture, or maybe you would like to improve current architecture. So without any delay, let's get started. But if you are over here, the very first time, please don't forget to subscribe to this channel. And also don't forget to watch this video till the end because there's a lot of information that you are going to take it today. Well, as you can see on my screen, the very first question, why TOGAF certification matters? I have already told you TOGAF is nothing but about an architecture framework. And the full form is the open group architecture framework. The very first question, what is TOGAF, right? That's what we were discussing and I already told you. So this is an open group architecture framework. Framework, global standard for enterprise architecture. And also it's going to help you to align with your business strategy. How your IT or even non-IT, that means the business, can align with the strategy and vision of your organization. Now, is the TOGAF right for you? I'm sure you are wondering that whether I should do it or not, or some people just get super excited that I should do it because in most of the applications, whenever you are applying for a job for a higher level, they always ask for the TOGAF certification, isn't it? Well, so this certification is particularly for enterprise architects, solution architects, IT managers, business analysts, transformation consultants. So anyone inside any organization who is into the leadership position or who is one of the key person that is bring change inside the organization, this may help you over there. So whether you are a transformation lead, you are a solution architect, you are an architect in the IT field, enterprise architect, senior data solution architect, etc. This certification may be for you. Now, let's go further. What this certification is going to bring on the table? Well, like I said, it's a framework. So you are going to get a strategic alignment over here. You would standardize the process. You would optimize them. You would improve stakeholder communication as well, as well as it's going to help you to accelerate your career. You can get a lot of more money, maybe 20 to 25% more than any other candidate for a job if you are TOGAF certified. Isn't it great? Well, yes, it is. We always expect growth in terms of money, in terms of responsibilities, in terms of our career where we would like to take it. And this certification is definitely gonna help you over there. Now, when to pursue TOGAF? This is a very important question and I'm sure it's running through your mind as well. If you really want to do this certification, then I'll say you need to have minimum minimum five plus years of experience in your core field as a solution architect, as a data solution architect, as a data and AI architect, or any other leadership role, maybe as a manager as well. Then this can really help you to accelerate your career growth. So don't forget to keep this in mind. And yes, guys, I'm sorry to disappoint you, but this certification is not for freshers. You have to really gain momentum 
inside any organization for your career and then maybe after five or six or seven years you can do it i did it myself after 14 years of my work experience i'm about to complete 15 years of my work experience now in this data and ai field so you can guess it after how long i did appear for this one and now i believe this is really really gonna be very helpful for me for my career growth now let's talk about this certification levels there are two levels. The first level is foundation one. On the foundation one, you are gonna get 40 questions, multiple choice questions. Yes, there's gonna be only single answer, not multiple answers for a question. And that is gonna be the closed book exam. That means you are not gonna get any help or reference or anything from the outside. So the first level is the foundation one where you are gonna get 40 questions, which is a closed book exam. You don't get any reference from anywhere outside. You have to rightly or correctly answer at least 24 questions to pass this exam. I scored 80% in this one and I believe you can do better than me. The second one is another exam, which is a practitioner. In the practitioner exam, you are not going to get simple, you know, multiple choice questions. Yes, there would be multiple choice, but based on the case studies, you are going to get eight case studies in your examination. Timing is around one and a half hour. And in that duration, you have to answer at least five correct questions and actually that statement would be wrong to say what you have to do basically there are eight questions there would be multiple choice and you have to select the best choice out of that so if you are going to select the best choice you are going to get the full marks that is the five if you are going to select the second best you may get the three and if you are going to get the third best two and none something like that so scoring is based on the choice that you are going to select for that particular case study for example, this may be asked that you are working in an organization where they are working in the lentils and other harvest. Suddenly, lentil is not the one that you are looking forward to. You are due to some strategic shift or not being so productive in lentils. You want to go for another crop. Then if your CIO is going to ask you that how you are going to implement it, you have to make a strategy, then choose the best answer out of those. So that kind of case studies would be there. So again, the passing criteria is, I believe, 70% on that one, not the 60. However, this is going to be an open book exam. That means that you are going to get a reference. You can read about the concepts, but you should know where to look for that particular information. And that's why you have to register first yourself to the open group website why i'm saying so because there you can practice a lot about the reference guidance etc so overall two examinations are going to be there you can appear them separately you can appear them at once but you have to pass 60 to but there's a criteria of 60 to 70 percent first examination 40 questions second eight questions and always there's going to be single answer for them. However, the case studies one answers also varies like I already mentioned now. So you can do that. There's no problem. You just need to remind yourself that there are the concepts in the toga which are different from what you are learning. So you have to shift your mind as a TOGAF practitioner rather than just sticking what you are doing in your day-to-day -day job. Now, is it worth two investment? Yes, because you're going to get 20 to 30 percent more salary as compared to the other one which are not with TOGAF and nowadays it's becoming a standard so more and more organizations are asking for that and it's a global demand in enterprise IT finance defense banking etc so definitely it's worth to spend a lot of money into this one so if you need any more information regarding this certification please do let us know in the comment section or you can also approach us on connect at baconsultingpro.com. We have practice papers, some study materials only for you that I used for my own study. I can also give you a reference from where you can take trainings. I did four days of training, then a lot of practice papers, I used it. And that's how I crafted my practice papers as well. My study material, notes, etc., which I'm definitely willing to offer you, everyone. But yes, that's going to cost you a little bit of fee. So either you can join our channel, BA Consulting Pro Premium Tier, or 
you can directly pay that small amount of fee to us and we are going to provide you those question answers practice papers study materials everything and you can go through that how to have helps in practice it builds shared vocabulary across it and business it helps streamline complex system design it helps lead digital transformations how you can get started choose an aggregated course like i did four days of training two weekends basically after choosing the course you have to read those core concepts and one of the most important one is architecture development method that is adm which has the different phases you have to read them i'm gonna show you in a bit you have to practice with the simple questions which we have crafted for you and i'm sure that you can clear your exam with flying colors if you just do your training or read from the materials that we provided you and then you just go through those simple questions and you can take either both exams separately or at once that's totally your choice and i recommend personally to go separately because it gives you a lot of room to think about it also you can have your own space with these two different examinations and still you can clear them up with the flying colors as i said that you have to register first yourself on this opengroup.org website please create your account that is going to be very important and then you are going to get this library in the library you can download a lot of things but what i definitely suggest you you have to go for uh not webinars you have to go for guides and under the guides you would find the TOGAF guide here and these TOGAF guides you have to download from here. You can see the product, you can also use the trial version and you can go through this one. If you need more help, I can definitely help you. But uh, more is this or architecture roles and skills. Then there's a TOGAF series guide, which is really, really important for you because these are the documents you would also find over there, your reference documents. And that's gonna help you to go through this one. It also depends that what is your current role. Some people do it for business architecture. Some people do it for technical architecture, some for just data. So totally depends on you. But this is the place where you have to go. Apart from that, I would like to highly recommend you to go with the 10th edition, which I did it. And that's what is going on right now. And here you would find every information about this. I have all this documentation. If you would like to get the access of this, like I said, you can contact us or you can get directly the premium membership of our channel bi consulting pro where we are going to provide you all the sample questions reference documents my notes etc that is definitely going to help you out or you can simply buy it at one time we are going to let you know that how you can do that for that you have to connect with us at connect at biconsultingpro.com so guys this is it all about the chogaf the open group architecture framework where you are going to have two levels of exam foundation and practitioner one it's up to you which level you would like to go what you really want to do but this is definitely going to help you to grow in your career and to get a lot more salary as compared to the other people and more job opportunities as well what do you think about it please don't forget to share your feedback in the comment section also do share this video with your friends and colleagues so guys this is it about the tour of the open group architecture framework where you are going to have two examination levels foundation and the second would be the practitioner level i highly recommend you to go for that to get more career growth as compared to the other candidates and take this advantage with you always whenever you are going in an interview this is not only just about getting career growth it's about your knowledge it's about how you see yourself in the future in case you have any questions please do let us know you can also share your feedback with us do share this video with your friends and colleagues and if you haven't subscribed to this channel subscribe now Till then, take care, keep growing in your career, keep exploring the world of data and AI, and I'm going to see you in another video.